Okay, hello, 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 and welcome back to the channel. I am not sure how much of this you're going to be able to see because of the wind. Hey, Sophia. How you doing? How you doing, sweetheart? <laughs> I just noticed her over there, so I just had to take a moment. Um, but um, anyway, um, I wanted to show this because I know many of you remember last year when the drought uh, had kind of just, you know, did its thing on the pond, All right? Right now it's so, it's so full. Look at those geese right there. They, they just enjoying themselves. Look at them. They're like, yeah, buddy. Uh-huh. Okay, so we're getting into that time of year again, y'all. Um, the rain literally just stopped like maybe 20 minutes ago, 20 minutes. And so I don't even think it's finished. I'm looking at the sky and according to the forecast, uh, there should be some more. But as you see, it is full right now. The pond is full and I'm grateful that whoever engineered this pond decades ago, uh, they created an overspill. I can't, of course, you ain't gonna be able to see it, but over there, um, on the side over there, they created some type of overspill where it won't, you know, get too much above where it is now. It is running up on the ground a little bit because I guess it does take time uh, for it to flow over to the to the next field. There's um, a cropping field uh, next uh, on the farm next to us. And they grow crops, so um, any overflow goes over there. Any overflow goes over there, but um, <clears throat> until that happens, because it's still you can still see a stream of water. Uh, coming from the back part of our um, farm here it, it kind of um, I don't know if you can it's kind of you can't see the stream flowing but it's coming from the back part it just runs 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 until it gets down into the pond there so everything from the way back flows downhill into the pond from every direction so that's what fills this pond up pretty quickly too uh, the fact that it flows from all directions including from up here where I'm standing right now but uh, we are thankful for the overflow definitely uh, thankful for the overflow um, but we do remember last year's drought and so of course we are grateful to see things at the level that it is now and uh, just hoping and praying that we, you know, don't experience that drought again this year. Um, nonetheless, we are preparing ourselves. The more ch chairs and fell over <laughs> the wind. I'm telling y'all that wind was kicking up something. Something tripped out. Last time uh, I filmed, not too far from here, only one chair had <laughs> flipped over. So uh, two of them flipped over now. Hey, that's what happens. That's what wind does. That's what it does. Um, yeah, I'm so grateful to see that the uh, weather is um, getting mild very quickly. But it does make you wonder. It does make you wonder what the summer is going to be like. And when we will look back on these days and say, I remember when. You know, but knowing what biblical prophecy says... Um, we are not to fret over these things. We just um, try to go go with the flow of the Ruach. However the Most High feels he needs to do things, uh, we go with the flow of that. And we pray our way about of things that uh, we feel the need to pray for. That's right. Pray our way through those things. But, uh, yes. I'm not going to be out here too long. I just wanted to just walk out it's very windy right now so again I am not sure how much of this will be heard sometimes that wind makes it very difficult to hear anything a 
a lot of stuff gets blown around when it's windy so we we always find ourselves having to do cleanup if you know what I mean when the wind gets to blowing things around <clears throat> uh, containers we have a lot of flower pots that have uh, been sitting up over the winter uh, they get blown around so it's, it's really something <laughs> so uh, we will be having that clean up soon and I can see the little red buds starting to form on that tree right there in front of us uh, that looks so pretty when they finally do uh, come in completely that breeze is getting a little chilly not too bad it's not too bad but you know it still feels a little chilly it is what it is Whew. I'm gonna head in in a bit. I'm just um, out here looking at my Sophia over there. <laughs> we have bags and bags of leaves, y'all. Just bags and bags. Uh, that shed that you see right there, that was a uh, summer school project for the boys. Uh, they built that upon a trailer that we had. We've had this trailer for years. And um, it's just been sitting, just been sitting, and we asked them to build a shed, and that's what they did. They built that shed right there um, as a summer school project, and it turned out great. On the other side, there's a door. They used just a screen door that we had, uh, a storm door that we had laying around. Um, they used that, and um, that's an old window that we had gotten from someone on Facebook Marketplace, so they use that for the end over here, and so that is a shed that the boys um, put together, and they did a fabulous job, and um, again, those bags are tons of leaves that we've gathered um, over the winter uh, from around the property, the fall and winter, and we have a, a whole lot more. If you have land that has a lot of leaves on it, be sure to gather those leaves. This cat <laughs> came out of nowhere and rubbed up against my ankle, started me a little bit. Uh, okay, little kitty cat. But um, yeah, if you have leaves, gather those leaves. Those are great resources uh, for the garden. Um, they could be used for starting fires. If you have a fireplace, it just used for a number of different reasons. But um, yeah, we gather our leaves, we keep them. Uh, we consider them a great resource. And with all these trees that are around the farm here, we have a lot to gather from every different area. Uh, there are some leaf uh, leaf bags. I don't know if the okay. There are some right there. Uh, we have many more areas too uh, that we have leaf bags, and so. Um, they will be mulched down, some of them. Some of them will just be used the way they are. But every year, gather that resource. Gather those leaves. Because they are very, very useful. Even if you just allow them to compost down and use them in the garden years down the line. Hey, however you do it, you could use it as a mulch for the garden now. Whatever you do, save them. Some people put them on the curb so that um, they can be picked up if you live in a community like that. Or some people actually burn them. And I'm like, hey, no, 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 no. We are not going to burn ours. We are going to save them. They are a great resource. Anyway, y'all, I'm going to go ahead get on out of here. Um, got other things I need to do. Um, I'll probably come before you later. Y'all will, of course. But until next time, I hope you can hear some of this because the wind is really kicking up, but I'm not sure what you will be able to hear. At any rate, enjoy the rest of your day, family. I am out.